what's going on y'all so somebody wanted me to do a video on uh, my approach for thickening a vocal uh, so here we go uh, I want to start off by saying you'll hear a lot of engineers say get it right at the source um, with getting a thick vocal uh, using a good mic pre and good when I say good mic pre but the right mic pre and microphone will give you a good thick vocal um, as you're recording and you won't have to worry about trying to get that in the mix if you've already got got it done in the recording uh, which is you know, what get it right at the source means but uh, the vocal I have here is uh, from an artist named P nice uh, the mic pre I used was an API mic pre and the microphone was a u87 uh, you'll hear a lot of room in this vocal and that's because we recorded it in a, a live room in a studio rather than the vocal booth uh, it took me a few weeks to do this video because I couldn't really find um, a thin vocal that I wanted to use to make thicker um, I really don't feel like this vocal needs much thickening up I'm good with the balance of it and how it was recorded but we can still use it for this example so in thickening a vocal uh, there's normally three things I do uh, it's EQ compression and saturation um, or a combination of those it doesn't have to be all three um, let's first take a look at the at the EQ but first I'll play you a little bit of the vocal first so you can hear it it's no witness to tell I sell like retail Like up the streets I belong in the jail In the cell where Malcolm was So I could catch a buzz in the room Where the illest cat was And I'm the realest player cuz Okay, so with the EQ I have uh, boosted a 3dB uh, shelf at, at 400 hertz When you talk about thickness You're talking about the low mids and the, and the low end In a vocal, mostly the low mids uh, you have to be careful about boosting that range because it will, uh, or it can, add some muddiness uh, just depending on the vocal. Uh, so what I've done, I've, I've boosted 3 dB and it was starting to get muddy. So what I did was uh, I cut a little bit above the shelf, at, which is at, uh, i got to cut it 425 here. Uh, but I'm going to bring the EQ in and out and uh, let you hear what it's doing to it. It's no witness to tell I sell like retail Like up the streets I belong in the jail In the cell where Malcolm was So I could catch a buzz in the room Where the illest cat was And I'm the realest player cuz But I don't bang like that I bang backs running girls through mats Three girls in the room I'll show you a hat trick Bed wetter than a pool You never knew it was a mattress You can see it's still getting a little bit of uh, muddiness there But it is adding some low end uh, Which is what I want to add some uh, thickness um, on the compressor side, uh, adding too much compression will make a vocal dull, but if you add the right amount of compression, uh, it can have the effect of making a vocal thicker. Uh, so let's add the compressor to the vocal and, uh, let's hear what it does. It's no witness to tell I sell like retail Like up the streets I belong in the jail In the cell where Malcolm was So I could catch a buzz in the room Where the illest cat was And I'm the realest player cuz But I don't bang like that I bang backs running girls through mats Three girls in the room I'll show you a hat trick Bed wetter than a pool You never knew it was a mattress I'm a maniac yeah. Okay so with the With the compressor um, It's thickening up the vocal uh, it's bringing more low end on it and I want to also add that with the EQ with me boosting this range here in the compressor what I did was uh, put on the side chain and set it to 300 which I probably set it up to about 400 so that's where my, my boost is but what this does is it um, with that low end boost that's going to be the the first thing that the compressor sees is that low end so by setting the the low cut here whatever you have whatever frequency you set this at it will the compressor will not react to anything below it so because I'm boosting low end I don't want the low end to trigger the compressor um, I've got it set to 400 Hertz here so anything below 400 Hertz won't trigger the compressor which is what I'm boosting in the EQ so let's pin this so we can see this together but on the on the EQ with boosting that low end and then going into the compressor with this set to off it will that low frequency will trigger the compressor 
So now sometimes that that might sound good, um, might not. Um, in listening to this, I preferred it with the uh, with the filter in. So let's let's listen to it with the filter out, and uh, let's go back and forth with uh, with uh, putting the side chain filter in. It's no witness to tell I sell like retail Like up the streets I belong in the jail In the cell where Malcolm was So I could catch a buzz in the room Where the illest cat was And I'm the realest player cuz But I don't bang like that I bang backs running girls through mats Three girls in the room I'll show you a hat trick Bed wetter than a pool You never knew it was a mattress I'm a maniac Yes I claim to that Don't want your girl I can handle that Got beef we can handle that Okay, so with the filter in, we're getting more uh, low end, which is uh, keeping the vocal thick and which is what we want. Uh, the last thing I add is uh, saturation. And this is the soft tube uh, saturation knob, uh, which comes in Studio One 2.5. And um, using this saturation knob, and you see, I've got it set to one. You really do not need a lot of this uh, to get what you're looking for. Um, I had it set at 1.5 before and was getting some, um, I could start to hear some distortion in the vocal, so I backed it down some. Normally, I would not have this set any higher than, than two because uh, a little with this goes a long way. So let's add the saturation in and hear what it's doing. It's no witness to tell I sell like retail Like up the streets I belong in the jail In the cell where Malcolm was So I could catch a buzz in the room Where the illest cat was And I'm the realest player cuz But I don't bang like that I bang backs running girls through mats Three girls in the room I'll show you a hat trick Bed wetter than a pool You never knew it was a mattress And uh, just so you can hear the distortion that I'm, that I'm talking about I'm gonna crank this up to Let's go to about 2.5 and you can hear the vocal will start to uh will start to distort it's no witness to tell I sell like retail like up the streets I belong in the jail in the cell where Malcolm was so you can hear uh with the vocal starting to, to distort there you know that's that's too much saturation on that um so back to our headed at at one I said little with this goes a long way and the the three settings here the keep high uh, what that does is it keeps the high frequency untouched. You're only saturating the lows, uh, which is what we want to do to add the thickness. Uh, neutral means that everything uh, is getting saturation, the whole frequency spectrum. And keep low means to uh, keep the low frequencies, um, to leave them alone. Uh, keep the low frequencies unsaturated and you're saturating the highs. So... Now I'm going to play the vocal. I'm going to take everything out and um, put it back in here so you can hear with all, all three of these together what it sounds like on the vocal. It's no witness to tell I sell like retail Like up the streets I belong in the jail In the cell where Malcolm was So I could catch a buzz in the room Where the illest cat was And I'm the realest player cuz But I don't bang like that I bang backs running girls through mats Three girls in the room I'll show you a hat trick Bed wetter than a pool You never knew it was a mattress I'm a maniac Okay, so that's uh those that's the three uh The three three tools in studio one I would use to to thicken a vocal I want to also show you just some third-party plugins that I use also um, to thicken vocals and that's the analog channel from McDSP H comp uh, compressor from waves and the Sonox Oxford inflator uh, so and quickly, the analog channel is a um, is a tape emulator from McDSP. Uh, I like to use it in vintage mode. Uh, I'm just going to uh, go through one by one here and show you what that sounds like on the vocal. It's no witness to tell I sell like retail like up the streets I belong in the jail in the cell where Malcolm was so I could catch a buzz in the room where the illest cat was and I'm the realest player cuz all right, I'm just going to go down and add add each one in here. 
it's no witness to tell I sell like retail. Lock up the streets, I belong in the jail, in the cell where Malcolm was. So I could catch a buzz in the room where the illest cat was, and I'm the realest player, cuz. But I don't bang like that, I bang backs, running girls through mats. Three girls in the room, I'll show you a hat trick. Bed wetter than a pool, you never knew it was a mattress. I'm a maniac, yes, I claim to that. Don't want your girl, I can handle that. Got beef, we can handle that. Okay. So uh, just quickly, the tape emulation, um, it's got the bump here, uh, which is doing basically what I was doing with the EQ. I was adding some low mids there. Um, the compressor, uh, the H comp, uh, does a great job at thickening things to me. Uh, so I'd love to use it if I need to thicken a vocal. And the Sonox Oxford Inflator is a really cool plug-in. It will uh, make your signal louder uh, without really increasing the volume of it um, it's a pretty unique plug and I haven't really seen anything else out there like it but uh, if I need to to make something sound bigger uh, the inflator is great uh, so there you go that's my approach for uh, thickening vocals um, you know any questions you know comment on the video or email me and uh, I'll catch y'all next time